Why, hello, YouTube! Greetings from the Lazy Eyebrow Reviewer to review number 52! And if you recall from my last review, this is a video review for Fans Project La Or maybe it's an MP70 Pro review! Bam! Who didn't see that coming? Well, apparently minor Edgar, because he thought this was going to be a review of Fans Project Last Chance. Nah, no, man, you silly. So yes, this is a review of the Takara Tomy MP17 Masterpiece Prowl, and definitely not some lame excuse of an April Fool's joke. You're watching the legit review right now. Hurrah! Took me long enough. So Prowl is, as the box says, a Nissan Fair Lady 280Z-T. But remember my rant in my last review of Universe Prowl about people not knowing their cars? <laughs> well, this isn't a Nissan, technically. Back in the 80s, this company was then known by its parent name, Datsun. Granted, it was still the company Nissan, but everyone knew the cars by Datsun, right up until 1884, when Nissan spent over $500 million to ditch the name Datsun and tell everyone who they really were and stop calling us by our 1934 name. I know, us ignorant North Americans, calling your company what you told us it was called. Anyway, trivia matters aside, <laughs> get it's, it's a pun, <laughs> trivia, trivia, oh, never mind. Back to the review! Prowl is a Datsun, for I will call it by its cooler, easier to pronounce name for the rest of this review, Fair Lady 280ZT. But rendered as a cop car, which we all knew him as. And honestly, just like Sideswipe from last year, this is an excellent rendition of a Fair Lady Z. Completely accurate to its source material, and just an overall amazing figure. What, with its taillights, its curves, the headlights, where the side mirrors are placed, right even down to the Z-crest located on the bonnet. I mean, just for car mode alone, I think this masterpiece is completely worth it. What? You say it transforms? Forget about it. So let's bring on a size comparison. Here is Universe Prowl, the updated Nissan 350Z. And, well, just like Sideswipe to Sunstreaker in review number 35, the Universe is just a hair smaller, which I've heard this name being thrown around, and yeah, I'd use it too. Prowl here is Deloyager sized. So moving on to the aforementioned Sideswipe, here is MP12, and I have to give the biggest credit to Takara here. Not only do these guys scale well in robot mode, which we'll get to, but even in the real world scale, the Lamborghini Countach was about this size compared to the Datsun Fair Lady. It was lower, it was wider, it was just about as long. I mean, seriously, Takara, this is one time where I'm not on yours and Hasbro's backs yelling my negative opinions about your recent garbage you've been producing. I mean, Leader Class Avis Extinction Optimus was a train wreck. Leader Class Marmon Optimus didn't even look rusty. Oh, I mean, you could have easily given MP10 a new head and a rusty coat of paint, and people would have flocked to the stores to buy that guy, and it still would have looked more accurate than whatever hunk of plastic you cranked out. Let's make this child-friendly. Intricate steps are too hard. Yeah, for five-year-olds, don't hate me for that comment, I have nephews and they seriously can't transform it. And if you look at the ratings Bay's pulling off, apparently Michael, I'm your face of your company Bay, is targeting immature 14-year-olds with his movies. Seriously, your marketing is all over the map. Mm. Okay, moving on. So let's compare these guys to another apparent 14-year-old, Spike. And again, Spike needs to grow a few inches. I mean, comparatively, you're only four foot two because that's the height of the Fair Lady. Sense of scale with humans in our masterpiece Transformers? Pah! Spike is horribly underscaled, even for MP10 standards. Speaking of which, let's bring that guy out. And well, we can see, Spike aside, he scales well with everything you see here, part of a complete breakfast. So on to transformation. On the bottom, pull the arms out and separate them. Flip the car in two and pull the doors out. Then pull up the roof in the middle part of the hood. On the bottom, rotate the head around and then you're going to want to fold the fenders in, which is a nice touch in my opinion. After that, start rotating the front of the car section down and click the chest plate into the front chassis, which on my figure is an incredibly stiff connection point both putting on and taking off, which has me worried I'm going to snap it off one day. I really hope not. Rotate the shoulder cannons out, fold in the hood and tab the windshield in behind his shoulders. On the bottom of the car, fold out these inner plates, followed by what will then become the heels, and then split the rear section in two. On the top, split the rear windows from the rear fenders and swing them around on their hinge. Extend the shin from the thigh, rotate the foot forward, and swing the inner panels around again. Fold the windows from the car doors down that are on its heels, and then just like G1, spin the torso around, replace the gun, and you're done, son! And all I can say is, wow! Seriously, Takara! Is this not the best thing you've seen from 2013 Transformers-wise? Oh man, he's wholly accurate both to the car he's based off of and to the robot we all remember from G1. From any angle, I love this guy. Seeing this transformation and knowing how similar it was to the G1 Jazz, you have no idea how amped I'm getting just waiting for that release to come out. Knowing that VW seems okay with licensing now and seeing this guy, please Takara, I mean even look from the back and the roof is stored ever so nicely and a lot like the way Jazz had it. So please Takara, can we get an MP25? And, and make a jazz, please.
So back on to Prowl. His articulation features the same head as all the other masterpieces with left and right and up and downward motion, moving shoulder cannon, opening and closing doors, double ball jointed shoulders, swiveling elbows, double jointed elbows, heck yes, and opening hand like side swipe and swiveling waist. Thank you, required transformation. Opening side flaps to allow for the universal jointed legs with a wide range of motion, rotating thigh, double jointed knee, and a rotating ankle. All in all, this makes for some of the best articulation I've seen in the Masterpiece line, which makes for some awesome poses, like pointing and shooting, pointing and shooting, crouching and shooting, pointing and shooting his own foot, pointing and shooting someone else's foot, not even believing what just happened, doing what all of you wanted to do on April 1st, 2013, pointing and shooting. Aw, oh, what a nice photo. They're brothers. Staying alive. Or as what my wife said when I came home from work one day and saw some of my figures pose in odd ways. He's a ballerina. Seriously, marriage is like the unmanliest thing for your Transformer collection. For size comparison, here's Masterpiece Sideswipe, who again, scales ridiculously well in robot mode, and I can't say enough how impressed I am with these guys. Masterpiece Optimus Prime, who scales well. Masterpiece Soundwave. And Universe Prowl, who scales about the same way that Universe Sideswipe and Masterpiece Sideswipe did. And I'll say again, these Masterpiece cars are easily Deloyager sized. So this has been the review for Masterpiece Prowl MP17. I can easily recommend any one of the Datsun trio, just like I could easily recommend any of the Nissan trio. And there we go, guys. Are we happy now? Does this make up for April Fool's 2013? I sure hope so. This has been the Lazy Eyebrow Reviewer. 